Uh, hi, welcome. Part 5, I believe, this is the thing we're on. Okay, so in the last part, we learned how to extrude geometry from edges to create create some faces. It's good, good and helpful. Uh, we also talked about edge flow and topology, you know, uh, on this, this roof section that we modeled. It's nice and neat, very, uh, very squarey, just the way we like it. Uh, but as we modeled these side pillars, things started to get a little bit more difficult to keep neat and in in line. And this section, in th this part, we're going to be modeling uh, this. Let me see if I can draw. And modeling that part. Oh god, which is basically this piece and the door as well. I'm really good at drawing. I'm going to delete that. But it gives, it gives you an, an, an idea of what we're doing anyways. Uh, let's get let's get started. Yeah, uh, we're going to be working from our top view for now. I'm going to select these three vertices, just holding shift to select multiple, and extrude them out along the x-axis, axis, and line them up from our top view. And from our side view, they do sort of stay stay flat, uh, except for this first one. So we're going to select that and bring it down to around here. Now let's go ahead and um, just finish off that rear section uh, because it is Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and model all this. I'm going to select these three vertices, just extrude them backwards to somewhere around here. This this is actually the spoiler, I guess. So we do want that to come to around that point. Just to use a grab tool to align those how you think they might go. Something Something like that. Well, it should be good. And from our side view, just align them, bring them down to about that point there. Maybe what we can do is go to our rear view. Remember, that's control one. And, oh, it's still blocked by the spoiler. It doesn't even matter. Whatever. That's not the focus. Whoopsies. So, this is where it does the same thing as what we were going over in the last part, just extruding geometry to create create the shape we want but in this part let me open up this picture real fast oh, oh, oh gosh what did I do just zooming in all right oh my goodness it reset so here if you're looking at this reference picture this this pillar comes down to around this point here and the window goes it goes inward. You can see it from our, our blueprint, actually. Just wanted to make use of a reference picture because we can. I'm gonna go into that. This the pillar comes down to this point, and the window starts here. So to create that piece, we want to. We've already extruded outwards to meet that line. But we also want to extrude inwards to make that point. Let me delete that. So we just refreshed uh, extruding faces. I mean edges to create faces. But we can also extrude individual vertices. So let's select this vertice here that made up the that makes up the bottom of the pillar where it originally ended. And uh, just click E, and it acts, behaves similarly as if we extrude it, except it's just a single point connected with an edge instead of an entire face. So we're just going to extrude it to around this point. Left click to confirm placement. And from a right side view, let's mm, let's just bring it in a little bit. Yeah, that's probably fine. And what we want to do 
is we want to make a face that meets here at the beginning of the door that includes that. So this is kind of lending itself to be a triangle. Um, and you know, that'll have to be fine for now. We don't want to overly complicate things, let's just keep it a triangle for now. Even though it'll cause some difficulties with edge edge loops and stuff, loop cuts, that's what that's the word I'm looking for. But it'll uh, it'll work nicely for now. So with that single vertices that we just extruded selected, I'm going to extrude that again to maybe around here and then again to the end of the door. This is more of a, like a freehand approach to polygon modeling, which you know works works well sometimes. It's a powerful way to do things, but it can be a, a little bit difficult, even more more so than what we were doing originally. So I'm just going to line these vertices up from the top top view, something like that. But we also want to uh, extrude this this bottom part. To around that, that point. Actually, I'm going to control Z undo. Since we want to keep things quadrilaterals, we want to keep in mind this. It's going to extrude to that point to line up with that vertice, extrude to that point to line up with this vertice, and then we want to fill in an edge between these two vertices. So we can use the fill tool. So we just want to select those two vertices and click F. That's another new tool. Awesome. Uh, and so the fill tool, if we have three vertices, or if we have the two vertices selected, it just fills in an edge between them. If we have three or more, it'll fill in a polygon, either a triangle or quadrilateral, or however many vertices are in there, it'll fill it in, which is helpful. Just if there's more than four, Keep in mind that'll be an N gone, or which may result in some un unwanted results. So now we're going to use that fill tool to fill in these faces for these vertices. So I'm going to use Shift to select those four vertices, F to fill in that face, select these four vertices, F, and although this may be a bad example of clean edge flow and whatnot. I'm going to fill this in as a triangle. Um, and I'll just show you why this is to my, make things a little bit difficult. Uh, for our roof, if we do control R to edge loop, it, the, the loop cut goes in through the entire, the entire roof. Same with these pillars. But if we go here, we can't, this, this loop cut doesn't go through this triangle either that way, and we can't even cut it that way either. It just makes things a little bit difficult. <coughs> I think I'm losing my voice. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, eh. That's kind of gross. Um, going to select it. Uh, so this lines up here, but the color sort of comes down a little bit. So I'm going to select those three vertices, extrude downwards ever so slightly. May just bring it out a little bit. So now that if we select those two, fill in an edge. That sets us up nicely to extrude the entire door panel. So let's go ahead and do that. To extrude the door panel, we're just going to select those two vertices and extrude a face all the way to the here. Here. And then just from our side view, just line those up from our, let's go to our top view and bring this all the way out to around there. From our, just double checking from our front view that looks alright let's 
what we should do is add a loop cut loop cut across an entire face just so we can give it some does it come all the way out like that just curve it a little bit I'm not I think that must be the the, the rear fender probably uh, so we're just gonna eyeball it and sort of go like that that looks good and then just line those, these up from the, our side view and then select those two vertices and extrude all the way down line them up and we do need some loop cuts across so I'm gonna go ahead and add three remember you can just scroll to increase or decrease now just line these up from our side view and from our front view they just go straight down we do want to bring them in a little bit it's kinda hard to tell where to bring them into so I'm just gonna eyeball it to see what looks good maybe something like that so that's that's coming along. It's coming along pretty nicely. Let's go ahead and let's let's select select this vertice. Select this entire edge loop. Nope, not that. Okay, never mind. See, it's causing difficulties already in selecting things. I'm gonna select this vertice, this vertice, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Just not not that one because we'll do something in a sec. If I just extrude it down, line these all up from the side view. Just sort of repeat the process we just did because I forgot to extrude this originally. Add a loop cut. Give it some, let me go to the front view. Yeah, definitely the rear fender. See, I knew I was forgetting something. Just give it a little bit of curve. Then we'll go ahead and fill this in. Those four, and then those four. I'm not going to focus on this wheel well area uh, because it is another more intricate piece that we'll focus on next section. Um, Maybe what we can do is, I'm just going to fill that in real fast. Yeah, what I just did is, since we have this, just going to fill in this triangle. Even though it is another triangle, it makes things look cool and nice and more, more finished. Uh, we can change it later if we need. Um, yeah, so hopefully you have time in between these randomly scheduled episodes or parts to practice the skills I mean learning a new skill or improving in that skill does take time and practice so sort of make time if you want to get better to do that if you have any questions uh, feel free to post them in the comments I'll get back to you on that and uh, yeah hopefully you found this useful I'll see you in the next part